first shirt is something a little unusual for me, but an adorable option for the warmer weather. It is a super cropped tropical printed shirt that feels very 1940s beach coded to me. I've been trying to have a lot more fun with my outfits and shopping choices and get more things that I don't have anything like it in my wardrobe and this definitely falls under that umbrella. The very super cropped cut won't actually show the bottom of your bra, don't worry, and it is balanced by the collar up top. It also really highlights your shape when paired with a high-waisted skirt or shorts. This you will have seen if you saw my video reviewing Belle Pox items that they very kindly gifted to me, thank you again. I'm still very into this classic pin-up style top and all of the beautiful colours in it. I think it's a really affordable option for those, especially getting just into the vintage sphere and wanting to try out some different styles. <laughs> This is absolutely one of my achievement pieces of the season. I wore it to several vintage dance events in some of my favourite outfits and it's the most flattering crop top I think I've ever worn. It's a beautiful handmade 1950s crop top with a lovely rose print and buttoning all the way up the back. You most certainly need a friend with you to get this thing on and off. It's stunning and such a fun and flattering and flirty piece. I was going to resist, but then Collective's end of year summer sale hit and I just couldn't pass up the romance of this broidery cherry printed blouse. I love the soft peplum cut, the buttons all the way down the front, the velvety ribbon closures and the sweetheart neckline. I think she's a sweet, flirty and enticing blouse that will look adorable with skirts, trousers, shorts, you name it. Victory is assured in this gorgeous peach skirt suit set. Emmy Design Sweden are one of my all-time favourite brands, although I don't own too many pieces by them as they are a little bit more expensive and have import shipping charges to the UK now, but everything I've gotten from them has been a dream and when I had the power of a gift card and a sale on my side, I had to pick some things up. The skirt is so beautiful, I love the longer length, the button and the fitted waistband which has belt loops in case you wanted to wear it with a gorgeous belt. The jacket is perfect for the warmer weather with its peplum style, short sleeves, smart collar and feminine shape. This piece I picked up in a vintage shop in Wales and gives me absolute 1940s housewife vibes. I love the darker navy colour with the brighter floral designs on it and the simpler A-line shape and short sleeves and collar remind me of the utility designs of the wartime years. I think it's so flattering and this shape is great for those who love vintage style but don't love excessive fluff in the skirt. It also comes with a belt to cinch in that beautiful waist. It has functional buttons all the way down, so if you want to be a bit cheeky, you can open a couple in the skirt to reveal a little bit of leg. Be still, my beating heart. I am obsessed with this dress. Everything about it makes me feel like I stepped straight out of an Agatha Christie novel, from the beautiful flutter sleeves and flounce collar to this lovely 1930s shape of the skirt with the fluting at the bottom to the perfectly coordinated belt that clasps close to highlight your figure to the absolutely splendid colour. I don't think I could have dreamed up a better dress in my head. 
This is another dress that has also gotten me the question of it being authentic true vintage as opposed to being reproduction, which is a feature that makes me terribly happy. you're about to see my knees not only my knees but even my upper thigh <gasps> i've been wanting a dress that is shorter inspired by the short dance dresses worn by the likes of vera allen and ginger rogers and i scoured ebay for this one for months before finding one in my usual hell bunny size although considering how short it is i may vote for a size up next time just because i am quite tall and i think the shorter dress is made for someone a tad shorter in frame than i am i love the soft lilac pink tone of the skirt and the beautiful embroidered detail at the top with the keyhole design it is so flattering and perfect for those vintage lovers who also want to show off a bit of stem Again, I've spoken about this piece in my video about my gifted Bellpock items, but I do absolutely adore this dress. The puffed sleeves give it a romantic sort of cottagecore feel, while the swing style, fitted waist and sweetheart neckline bring in the vintage look. I like to call this my cottagecore Marilyn dress. Let me know if you see it. <laughs> I love the white, I think it's so summery and elegant, and I have gotten a lot of compliments on this dress. This stunning piece I bought from a friend and I cannot get enough of. Thank you, Hannah. It is such a spectacular piece that gets me compliments everywhere I go and even questions if I've had it tailored specifically to me, so you know it fits like a dream. The set consists of a stunning sarong dress with a boned bodice, fitted waist, waterfall design in the skirt and halter neck, and a coordinating cropped bolero with short sleeves and a folded collar. A little tip for these boned bodice Vivina Holloway dresses, you can actually tuck in the halter neck to make them strapless. I really love the black base with the floral designs with gorgeous red, magenta red, green, white and yellow. You can choose any of these different colours to highlight with your accessories or your makeup or keep it simple and let the dress do all the talking. <laughs> This is one of the most unique dresses I've seen in a while, and I have had my eye on it ever since Collective announced their winner of a design competition at KA underscore Goo and showed the designs they had made, including this amazing dress set. It comes in two parts, with the underneath layer being a gorgeous strapless swing dress in a beautiful dusky sort of sky blue with white polka dots and white collar detail. It has pockets and it works beautifully as a dress just on its own. Then you can top it with the white overlay dress which fastens at the waist with buttons to reveal a peak of shoulder and a flash of the dress underneath. What I love about this is that you can use this overlay with any other dress, not just this collective one, which is such a fabulous, unique piece to have. You all know that What Katie Did is my premier place to go for beautiful, high-quality, vintage-inspired lingerie, and when I saw they had this pink petticoat, I had to get it. I've been wearing it non-stop, particularly for swing dance events when I want a bit of extra swoosh but maybe don't have the space for a full petticoat. I love it and I am planning to get it in different colours for the different seasons. Another dreamy 1940s piece in a very popular vintage style, this wrap dress is stunning. It's from Seamstress of Bloomsbury, who are another brand that creates incredibly authentic looking pieces in gorgeous fabrics. The yellow of this dress speaks to my soul. Yellow is one of my absolute favourite colours. 
While the floral print is so charming and really brightens up an already bright dress, alongside giving you the opportunity for more colour matching with your accessories. You can wear this with a slip underneath or let the occasional flash of leg peek through for a flirtatious look. The wrap style is also supremely comfortable and it means it's more adjustable. This is a great dress for brunch. Pomade is a must for vintage hairstyles and I finally got a new jar. I have to admit I was a little unsure if I was going to like it at first, but I've really been pleasantly surprised. It leaves my hair shiny and pliable and is great for more complex hairstyles where you don't want to overuse hairspray but still tame flyaways and add shine. While my septum ring might not be historically accurate, it is one of my favourite piercings and I'm so excited that I finally got a beautiful sparkly piece to go in it. This titanium septum ring is by Crystal Heaven London. It's so high quality and look at the sparkle, it speaks for itself. I also changed out my helix piercing for this stunning crystal flower design. I love how the flowers catch the light for a bit of extra sparkly when my hair is back in a snood or victory rolls. I absolutely love my piercings, I am quite pierced at this point. <laughs> And I don't believe that piercings, tattoos, or anything like that take away from a vintage style. They just enhance it by making it more you. Hello, darlings. I really, really hope that you have enjoyed this video. I just thought it has been so, so long, far too long since I've done a full length try on outfits fashion video on my channel and I've got so many lovely things recently that I really just wanted to show them off in the hope that maybe it would inspire you to maybe look for some similar pieces. It's a lot of these pieces I got second hand or on Vinted or eBay. Um, the goal of this is not necessarily to get you to go out and buy this exact dress for instance but maybe just a similar sarong dress or another dress from Vivian of Holloway because you like the structured bust or just basically giving you some outfit inspiration maybe even of pieces or looks that you could recreate from what you already have. As always my goal with my channel is to spread happiness and sparkles so I really hope I've done that for you in some small way today and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Humidity got me like. <laughs> this is definitely the look I was going for. Why am I so triangular? What is going on? <sighs> I used to wear skirts this short every day. How? How do they do it? This is like... <laughs> I love this dress so much. Agatha Christie.